you want to be a successful commercial entertainer, click on the link below. Dooney's Coaching Secrets will help you. And my individual one-on-one -on -one sessions start at only $300, and it's a money-back guarantee. So if you're not happy with it, I'll give you your money back. Um, it's an inchworm. Uh, I'm doing a couple of, uh, I guess, insects and crustaceans here. I just finished my lobster and uh, uh, scorpion. So, inchworm. Head, front legs, and the front two legs and the head basically are a small um, dog head, right? Head, two legs. Body, and I'm gonna make two legs again. One, two, twist those off so that it is a head, two legs, body, two legs. Now I'm gonna make an ear tie here. So an ear tie is a single bubble that I'm going to twist it beside itself. So this and this are going to twist together. So the way I do that is I hold that so that the bubble is by itself and I can pull it apart, pull it away and twist it around. I'm pulling out and twisting around. Pull out, twist around, pull out, twist around. All right. So I line that, what I call an ear twist, on the top of the back, head, front legs, body, bottom legs, top of the back. And I basically am repeating this till I run out of balloon. I'm gonna make two legs. Two legs. Then an ear tie. Pull that one ear out at one it's a back spacer is what it is. Away and twist it around a couple of times. Line that up on the back. Body, two legs. So basically body, two legs, ear tie. Body, two legs, ear tie. Now you notice that I have run out of balloon now. I am completely out of balloon. Okay. So if I had my little cutter around my neck, which if you haven't seen my cutter, go to the balloon cutter <laughs> video, it shows you how to make one. But I can let this air out, but what I want to do, oops, I let it out too far. What I want to do is have it have just a tiny bit of air in it. Just like that. So I didn't want to let all of the air out. I wanted to let most of the air out. Okay. And all I do is I put eyes on it like that. Now, people think, you know, that's not that exciting, right? But you give this to a kid and you go like this. It could be a caterpillar. It could be an inchworm. It could be anything like that, right? It's the movement that sells it, right? Kids will play with this all day long. All right, there you go. Now this next one is a small butterfly. I have a big butterfly on my two balloon sculptures and the small butterfly is also a two balloon sculpture. So I could have included it there, but you're getting it here, no oh, well. Um, short balloon, you're not, you know, you're never gonna use all of this. Uh, you, you want it short though, too long and you won't have enough room to get enough balls in it. Okay, so this one's kind of crazy. I'm going to make a little ball and stuff it inside. It's like the peas in a pod, all right? I hold my hand here to make this balloon solid. I hold three fingers around the outside edge of that balloon and now I've got a solid 
place to push it in with my thumb. I'm going to grab hold of that ball and make another small ball. You want this, each one of these balls has to be small enough that it will go inside the other length of the balloon. Small, so that's two. Grab it, pull my thumb out, so I'm holding that second ball here. Make a third one, and you make this small enough to go inside. Whoops, now that one broke. All right, so I have to tie it off. So, let me show you from behind. All right, you can see one ball, two balls, three balls. There's three balls in there. All right, but because that one broke, I have to do something kind of special. I have to come down here and make another twist. So this one is around that one that's on the inside. The reason is I don't want it to break. I don't want it to be like peas in a pot. I want it to stay connected. Ball after ball. Till I get at least four. So I made this a little bit big, so I'm just backing it up and squeezing some of the air out of it. You can always back up if you don't like your proportions. Like that's too big. That won't go in. So I back it off. I squeeze some of the air out of it and then I twist it again. All right, so now I want to actually break this off. I want to actually cut it off. So again, I don't have my balloon cutter, so I'm just going to cut it off. Now I want to try to get this whole thing out of here. So I'm going to squeeze from down below and try to get that out. Did you see it shoot out? I have to find where it went. Okay, that was a little hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> it went over my shoulder and it took me like 10 minutes to find it and I don't even know how I found it. <laughs> I was digging around under things and all of a sudden it appeared. Anyway, so this is what you get. You get a bunch of little sections that are connected, right? And so that can also be an inchworm, right? Uh, but it, so what I say with kids when I'm making a butterfly is what comes first? The caterpillar, the caterpillar right? Um, now I'm going to make the wings. And I'm going to make it orange this time. And I tell you what, I'm not going to blow it quite up all the way. I'm going to blow it up just a little bit less than all the way this time. You know, so that when I squeeze it, it's a little bit looser. Tie this here. With this here, I have two knots. I mean, I have two ends I tie together. Squeeze them, make sure they're a little loose. Divide it in half. And then usually what I do is I, before I connect it to the body, I'll do these. Like that. You get a little heart. Bend it down. And what I'm doing is I'm squeezing and pinching the air out, but I'm not locking a little ball. I'm just squeezing to stretch the rubber. That's all I'm trying to do is just to stretch that rubber. And you get these heart shapes. And then those become the wings of your butterfly. All right. There we go. You've got a little butterfly. All right. So there you go. Inchworm or caterpillar and a butterfly. What can I say? Balloon animals. Who'd have thought it? Um, also, uh, check out my restaurant video because if you can make balloon animals, getting a job in a restaurant making balloon animals is a great thing to do. Um, I have a full training video for my coaching clients. Uh, I give a money back guarantee for my coaching clients for the first session. Uh, and uh, it's worth checking out, I think. Also like, subscribe, all that stuff. Have a great day.